Good night, everybody. Tonight we can talk about Granger. <laughs> and a next jackass. I can tell you the name. I'll wait till you read down and I'll find it too. <laughs> but we're going to start with Granger tonight. In this video, we're going to put Granger in your place. Granger went on a, a news broadcast and talking a whole bunch of lies. 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 This man, hey, this man is a wicked and nasty, dangerous man, Granger. First, I did, got my faith in Granger. So Granger is a honorable man but this election exposed who Granger really is this election exposed how nasty and dangerous this man is so let me go right into this okay so soon as certain people re-enter the country we see <laughs> you know uh, kilos and kilos of of cocaine being shipped out again. They didn't even wait, you know, for the new president to be sworn in. They didn't even wait for the new president to swear in. Granger, the cocaine shipped out when you was president. This isn't the first time cocaine shipped out when you was president. This is when they get caught. When the PPP go into power is when they get caught. Right? And I know when you're saying that as soon as people come back in the country, I know you're talking about Raja Khan. But Raja Khan come back in the country and you are going to find a single charge against the man. Not a single charge you are going to find against Raja Khan. So you can't go and be accusing Raja Khan for shipping no cocaine. And even if Raja Khan was shipping the cocaine, was it you was the president. What you was doing, what would your, your police force where you say you reform and the army force where you say you reform? One to them, any special crime unit where you set up, anti narcotics unit where you set up. One to them, how are these cocaine ship for the country? You is president and you don't know. Come on, Granger. Come on. You know what guy now. You know exactly who shipping the cocaine. So you don't come out of trying to point your finger at nobody and accuse nobody wrongfully. Right? Don't believe that people don't know that what you are doing in the country. <clears throat> With you and your corrupt cabal. Your bunch of thieves. Granger and your forty thieves. This what this way all is. Granger and your forty thieves. So, right? So you don't come out and try to accuse nobody and point your finger to PPP. PPP, who, the bus come under PPP. The shipment happen under green job. Right, so don't come out there with a smile in your face and feel you can, you can try to fool nobody that you ain't know what went down with all the cocaine left in the country in rice. Right, you don't come and tell nobody no bullshit and think people can believe them shipping is there. Since in the election, you believe you can come and tell people a bunch of lies and bullshit and people can believe them. Up to now nobody believe none. That's why you are out of power. And now you're out of power, you believe people can believe them shipping this now. And you know exactly who shipped that cocaine. This ship under your watch. And now you're trying to come in to accuse people because they support the PPP. Rajakan come back in the country and you're going to find a single charge against Rajakan. If Rajakan had come back now under PPP watch, you would hear PPP. Do our kind of shipping so don't charge Raja Khan. This way I will be coming out with. But Raja, come back, Raja Khan come back again under you watch. And you only had a single charge against the man. So you cannot come and try to accuse nobody of shipping no cocaine. Right? Don't bring them bullshit to nobody, Granger. We are in for some difficulty internationally and, uh, and, and locally. And... I tell you, if we are not careful, this country is going to go down the same route that it went down 
during the Jack Dewey years, when 1,431 murders. If you go to Bardica, you see these ugly monuments. Go to Yves you see the monument to the number of policemen killed during the Jack Dewey years. Those two monuments are Jack Dewey's monuments to show. Green job. When you're talking about the two monuments about the police them getting killed, and those two monuments belong to Jack Dio, you should say them two monuments belong to Harmon. You see, there's the thing. When the police kill the same people them who kill the police, y'all coming out there say Jack Dio killing the black people them. Right? When the same people them who killing all the young people them in the country, murdering them, robbing them, going in the people them house, thieving out the thing, taking all the money and still kill them and the family. When the police kill them people, you are coming out and say, like what you're saying now. I like what Val Lawrence is saying, that 500,000 get killed under Jack Dio time. That Jack Dio was killing all the black people them. But y'all, y'all talking about this thing about police killing. Why you don't, t why you don't tell the public who was killing the police and who was representing those people who was killing the police? It's Harmon and the PNC who was representing those people, calling them freedom fighters, right? And I'm gonna say this again: Dale Moore and Andrew Douglas and them break out of jail. With AK-47 in the hand. Harmon used to represent all of them. Fine man and all of them. It's them is the people who used to go around killing the innocent people in the country. And the police them. Why you don't tell the public that? Why you don't come out and tell the public the truth? As to who was killing the police is them. Who was killing the innocent hard working citizens of the country? And who was representing them? Who was financing them? It's the PNC. Tell them that. Tell the, tell the public the truth. Don't come, and, come out there and try to attack and stain people. When you deep down in your heart, you know what the truth is. You know what the truth is. It's PNC, Harmon, Basil Williams and all of them who used to represent these same people. Who used to kill the police? The, your ministers, them. Your ministers is who used to represent these people. Tell the public the truth, God. Tell them the truth. Tell them the whole story. Don't just tell them that four, 1,431 people dead in Jaguar time. Tell them how they're dead and who killed them. And who was representing who killed them. Who was supporting who killed them. Who was calling them freedom fighters. The murderers them. Tell them that. Tell them that. Don't come out there with your liar stink mouth and try to stain nobody when you know that is the PNC who used to represent and fund these people to do these things. Only because you want to come and say what you are saying now. That these things happen under Jack Dio Watch. You are going and give tablets to the criminals in prison. Y'all ain't giving the school children them tablets. Y'all giving prisoners tablets. Murderers. Thief. Why? And you got in my heart to come out here and talk about monuments belongs to Jack Dio because police was getting killed. Tell the public. Tell the world the whole truth and facts about the story. Tell them that is your ministers them who was representing and funding those same thieves, criminals. You know what happened? Ya believe people don't know. Just because people don't say nothing, ya believe that people don't know. Right? A still tongue keep a wise head. And I'm going to talk when I have to talk. When ya come out and try to accuse innocent people of doing shit we all, we all do. I can talk. I will talk. As president, I always respected the decisions of the judiciary. If I didn't agree, I went to the higher court. And once the higher court ruled, 
That's what it is. I always abide by the constitution. I abide by it. You know, sometimes you have to sit down and wonder how people could call themselves leaders. I understand politics is politics. But the election finish. Right? Election finish. During the election time, you can lie how much you want and, and, and basically do what you want in terms of talking, lying, trying to mislead your people. Then. But election finish. And Green just still coming out here and, tr and peddling a bunch of lies. Green Joe, you say you always abide by the constitution and by the judiciary. Big man, since the 24th of December 2018, you lose the vote and no confidence. Election was to hold the 24th of March 2019. You find all kind of bullshit to run around the place. The Williams Harmon, the whole, the whole cabal. All kind of stupidness are you doing not to hold the election within three months. And you now coming out here saying that you always abide by the constitution. Now, after the election, all the court and rule, even to the CCJ, the highest court of the land, ruled that the recount votes are valid and this is what should use to make a declaration. And you keep blocking, 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 finding law in field carrying this to court, carrying that to court. All the time, give me a case to go to your care already. Only because you don't want the declaration to be made. When the highest court of the land is done rule already. So when you come out there trying to lie and tell people that you always abide by the law and by the constitution. That is lie and bullshit. That is lie and bullshit. Don't come out there and try to tell people no stupid. If the election finished, Granger, you don't have to come out and lie. If you don't have nothing honest to say, just don't come out and say nothing. Just don't come out and say nothing. You're embarrassing yourself and your people. Your, your, your supporters. That's what you are doing. You is the former president. And you come out here for lie to people. Be your fist. Be come out and tell people about the truth about Hamta Ali money. By the final declaration of the commission, people doubted, people called me all sorts of names. But when the declaration was made on Sunday the 2nd of August, I abided by the declaration, even though I... You had no other alternative than to accept the declaration. You didn't accept the declaration because you want to. You accept the declaration because you had to, because the pressure or the... You had to accept the declaration. If America and the rest of the world didn't put, start putting pressure on you, you will never accept no declaration until this day. You don't come and tell people that when the declaration make I accept it and people didn't believe me. No, nobody did believe you. And not to know that you would accept the declaration if there was no pressure on you. You would never accept it. APN you achieve. We were putting passport offices in the regions. Most of the regions now have regional public broadcasting stations. They now too have to build a system administered by competent REOs. And this again, I cannot imagine how the PPP has made so many mistakes in 12 days. It's like you know over the next 12 weeks if this is how they started off you know if they had a plan if they had a manifesto if they had a cunt now I cannot understand how after 12 days they don't make self finance we this pass no finance minister Granger what are we going to hire a finance minister to do at the moment y'all didn't leave no money in the treasury all the money y'all keep for Y'all even hold the bank a hundred billion dollars. What we need a finance minister to do at the moment? Twelve days pass and no finance minister yet. What we need one to do when y'all left nothing there 
y'all ain't leave no money in the treasury no money in no none of the reserves none 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 no money in the country and you're talking about a finance minister we have a president running the country not a dictator or or a dang president a leader running the country let the people do what they have to do sit down and watch on sit down and watch on and learn how to run a country don't come out there and complaining 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 learn since you don't know for do it when you what's in there learn how to do it when you're outside of a million people in Ghana, 217,000 voted for you. What do you have to say to them? Well, there's not quite three quarters of a million, but what I'd say is this. We work hard um, to deliver to the people of this country uh, quality government. Uh, I believe that our first five years in office were successful. We be given the opportunity to continue that, um, that program. I will say, do not lose hope, do not lose faith. Our goals remain the same, and we will return to use that same petroleum money to give you a good quality. <laughs> oh my God. This man come out and say he, they work hard to deliver a quality life for the people. And he believe they will be given a next opportunity. And their goals remain the same. And they're going to use the oil money, the petroleum money. Green Joe, the only thing you work hard to do is to punish the people of the country. Destroy the country. This is what you work hard to do. And you achieve that. I can't take that from you. You all achieve what you work hard to do. Destroy the country and punish the people. And of course, if you all go back in there, your goals remain the same. Because you are going to thief out all the same petroleum money we are talking about. And this is why we vote you all out. Because we know this is where your objective is. Right? You would never, ever, ever, ever lay a hand on the oil money. None of it. None, none, none. Never. Because you will never get back in power. The PNC will never get back in power. Y'all don't kill the PNC already. Right? Y'all gonna bury it with Bornham. They're done dead. You would never get the opportunity, you and your cabal, to touch the iron money so y'all can thief it out. All these billions from billions from billions of dollars. Y'all done thief. And this is not the iron money. These are the people of the country money. Hard working citizens money. Y'all thief out. When y'all collect the oil money, y'all gonna do something for the country with that? No, y'all gonna continue building y'all fancy house. Living y'all Cadillac lifestyle. And y'all expensive lifestyle. Continue to raise your salary. I sure if y'all live in this election and the island money to start pumping in. Herman's salary would be about three million dollars a month. If there is one thing I could say my people of the country do that is going to benefit them and give them a decent life is to vote y'all out. Now, <clears throat> the whole pack of thief, the big thief, them, the liars, them, ain't going to parliament. <laughs> everybody, everybody running and hiding. Everybody feels shame. Are you nasty, dirty wretches? Are you? Are you shame for going to parliament and face the people? Are you liar, thief, and bastards? Shame. Imagine the leader for the PNC in going to parliament. <laughs> the former attorney general in going to parliament. 
Val Lawrence in going to Parliament. Aubrey Norton, the political scientist. <laughs> political, <laughs> political scientist ain't going to Parliament. Are you shameless? Y'all don't have no pride, no dignity, no self-respect. None, none, none. That's why we vote y'all out. Y'all are useless people. Useless. Granger, again, you would never, ever, ever touch the iron money. Mark my words. You could put it in your pipe and smoke it, or you could put it in your blow blow and blow it. But you would never, ever, ever touch the iron money. Everybody. Now we move on to the next thing. What I tell y'all? I have on this video this is a character <laughs> this is kind of incompetent people the PNC have on the site now I want you all listen to this comedian carefully I got so many platforms and social media that you can have your meetings by a zoom Meeting uh, um, FedEx, so many platforms. Did I hear FedEx? Let me listen again. So many platforms. I did, I did, I did hear FedEx. What the bullshit? What, what does people really come out here with? A Zoom or, or, or FedEx meeting with your cabinet? What kind of ignorant ship of people are you by? And you're coming out here for running your mouth and talk all kind of bullshit about people? Let me move on, you hear? So many platforms is the same reason. <laughs> Now, 19 new ministers testing and only two afro guyanese and I must say afro guyanese positive. And all of the two Afro-ministers contracted this disease and was tested positive. All the rest... And these same crosses... Just come out and talk about racism. In fact, in this same video, a little closer to the end, you can hear this same man here calling the agriculture minister a racist. And here he specifically point out out of 19 ministers get tested, only two Afro, and he must say Afro Guyanese positive. Now, I hear the saying that these people, these two people contracted the coronavirus from the inauguration day. But I remember Afan Ali come out on a press conference and said, Mr. Huge Tad, call him and tell him that he was in contact with somebody who tested positive for the COVID-19. So if he, he get COVID-19 from the inauguration, why would he call Irfan Ali and tell him that he was in contact with somebody who tested positive? He would have tell him, hey, somebody in the inauguration there had have COVID-19. Right? I think I don't know. Crass is coming out talking about Everybody was in one room, sit down, and only two Afro guys tested positive. And, and, and the next thing I hear the coming out saying is that since PPP go into power, 
the ministers getting COVID-19. It's because these people go in and do the work. They're going to interact with, with the community. Right? It's not them wasteless, useless ministers the PNC had who just sit down in the office and run all about on people for the money and don't do nothing. These ministers of this government just go and interact with people. You understand? Talk to the people them. Find out how they can help them. Right? That is why these people are, is at risk of getting infected with the COVID-19. It's not the useless minister Harman and them who sit down in the car driving who do the bodyguard. And then going to see what happened to the people and how they can help nobody. That is the difference. And these people put in the self, the life, the health on the line to represent the people of the country and help those people. So y'all don't come out there and talk no book plan. They're working on right now. Then with the PNC had PNC they had nothing. Had Harmon and, and, and Vada Lawrence and Nagamutu. That's all. They man had no plan, no strategy. You understand? So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah I tell you, I tell Granger all year long and tell y'all you and the rest of y'all now. Y'all pull aside and sit down and wait and look on and you're gonna see progress. Just wait. Former President of Guyana, Jack Dio. Big position as Vice President of Guyana at the present moment. Then come for national television to tell Guyanese that COVID-19 is just a flu. And what, a, what, what does that tell you? Every president that say COVID-19 is just a flu, they got more death counts than anywhere else in the world. How could you tell your people it's just a flu and millions of people dying from this just a flu thing? What nonsense is that? How could you do that? How could you be so irresponsible as a vice president of a country? Come and tell people it's just a flu. That's crap. And as a man of Jack the Ocalibur, you should know better. It's just a flu. 19 ministers around a, a table. All together, no social distancing. Only the mouth and the nose cover. The ears hole and the eyes left exposed. Did I hear he say ears hole? Let me listen again. It travels in the air. You could get it through your ears, Mr. Jack the O. Ears, Mr. Jack the O. Ears, Mr. Jack the O. I did, I did, I did hear. People got contract COVID 19 for through the ears hole. <laughs> oh my god, the backside is this. People can get COVID 19 from through the ears hole. What kind of... Hey, let me move on, let me move on, let me move on, let me move on. I, 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 I can't take all this bullshit here, man. From through your ears hole. This, where did this crap come from, boy? Where did this crap come from? It come like these people ain't got no, no, no brain. What kind of crap? You got contract COVID-19 from your ears? I didn't never know that. I got to buy some earplugs. I have to go look for some earplugs right now. In Guyana, we understand there's two major parties. And if you're not for one, you're for the other. That is understood. That does not give you the right as a political party to vin be vindictive against the other. If you are qualified for a job or a position and you are under a contract, the PP project thing is not a bullyism and a vindictive thing. I'm under a contract, a binding contract that represent me. How you want to terminate me before me contract and, and then tell me what I could resign? Pay me where you got to pay me. And let me go on my business. And in the...
if you are qualified rightly said or a position if you are qualified now when you say you hear guilty sure was saying about polit political appointees you say you didn't understand what it was now you know where it is these are not people who are qualified these people just get positioned to get paid that's all it was thousands upon thousands of them get political appointments and position to work for the government just to get paid sometimes these people you don't see them for weeks and months but the money is still there you understand so you don't say about nobody vindictive against nobody if you are a government appointee or minister you have to go so my advice to the ppp is to do the donald trump drain the swamp drain the swamp all of them government appointees and ministers have to go so many qualified people in Guyana because of this change of government and the PPN and the PNC out and this down the terror whoever in fires the other even though they're more qualified than everybody else for the job because you serve a party openly they victimize you fire you and what they leaves you the qualified people in Guyana are being victimized because they serve either the PPP. I, I, I shouldn't even say that. I should retract that because that, that have never happened under the Ranger administration. Once you, we, we say you should retract that because that never happened under the Granger administration. But you just, just, just say that whether the PPP or the PNC in government, they are always firing people. Are a lot of more qualified and the others are still fired in. and now you're saying that that never happened under the and the ppn and the pnc out and this down the terror whoever in fires the other even though they're more quiet that because that have never happened under the ranger administration once you ranger administration now when granger did win election in 2015 what granger did you keep everybody for work if you keep all the PPP ministers them to work, eh? Or Granger to do the same thing we're doing now? I would like you to answer the question. We are saying making a lot of sense in this portion of the video, uh, I, I your speech, right? Then we should stop with that. But I want to ask you a question: How you could go in accusing? Talking me name, you run around the place telling people about me. And then you come looking to work for me. Tell me how or what you think I should do. You are totally against me. And I should still provide a job for you. Come on. If you is a government appointee and you want to keep your job, when the election comes, let the politicians them deal with the matter. And you stay quiet and you will keep your job but you can't run around there run out there running up running around the place and talking all kind of bullshit against me accusing me and then when things change you run into me to provide a job for you tell me how that gonna happen when they're gonna happen that would never happen that is why these people have to go they ain't want to stay easy and wait till the election finish and Continue serving who serve in power. No, they, they want to Granger, Granger, fraud is fraud. And them kind of bullshit who in dead vote, who migrated vote, and up to now, they cannot file an election petition. They cannot. So this is 20, so this is 18 days gone. I think it's 20 days I said I have from election day to file a petition. They have five months of who are, are evidence. And who dead vote and who migrated vote and all kind of bullshit. Five months of them. And now to produce the evidence of the court in the election petition, they cannot do that.
And you still want people to keep these people to work? Come on. Come on. I you be fair? They have to go. I support them. They have to go. All of them who come and who was out there talking a bunch of bullshit. Accusing the PPP and all kind of thing. And the same leaders who was fooling them and telling them all kind of lies. Cannot file an election petition until this day. But them going to be out of a job. And the politicians them get them big money where they don't thief already. Let me see who can help who now. Okay, I best wait for this stimulus package to come. For I get something. Other than that, the PNC and gear you not no no. I continue. Serving up no openly. Openly. God there's what Gail to share or say. Their political position. I don't know since when there's a political position in Guyana. The only political position the guy in Guyana is the ministers and the president. There's the only appointed political positions. And when a government change, every one of them has got to go back in. Goes without say. Nobody never hear about There is what was happening under the Granger administration. There was government positions. And these were the people I'm talking about. And there's how stupid and ignorant and dotish you be. You make a previous video when you were saying that you don't want to come out and run your mouth unless you get facts. Then you look for facts. Don't come here and run your stupid mouth and talk ignorance. Right? That is what the people I'm saying. There was Thousands upon thousands of government appointees in every single office, government office in the country, every single corner of the country, there are people who work in for the government as government appointees, have government position. You never hear about it before. I never hear about it before. But under the Granger administration, it was possible. That is what Gil Teixeira was talking about. And, though, and, like, and like you rightly said, when the government change, all of them have to go pack in. So now the people them telling them to pack, and y'all have a problem with that. Get your facts and then come out there. You understand? This is what the people them saying all the time, that people let him show up to work but get him paid. The monthly salary is still there and they don't go to work. They don't work, they just get appointed to get paid, that's all. That Harmon Hull is a makeup position. The Director General of the Office of the Presidency is a makeup position just like the government positions. Right? The next makeup position, Granger Makeup to give Harmon. I'm paying him $1.3 million a month. It's a bunch of makeup positions. The PNC had these people working on though. And now you come talking like, like, like guilty shirt trying to lie on them. If you don't understand. Is, is ignorance. Because they got some. You are proven to be ignorant because you are ignorant. Because you lack of intelligence. Go and do your research and get your facts and look here. Come out here and run your mouth when you say. You understand? Just don't listen to Granger them and come out and run your mouth when he say and talk a bunch of bullshit. Go and get your facts right. Ignorant. Bye. I mean, it's a schedule to visit farm farmers. These blunt and disrespectful racist criminals. Blunt and in front of your eyes. They ain't got no shame. The agri- Who ain't got shame? And who racist? Big man. The only racist person I know is y'all. The whole cabal. And the supporters. This is the only set of racist people I know. You talking about who racist. And this is what you said earlier. afro guyanese and I must say afro guyanese afro guyanese and I must say afro guyanese positive 
and all when you saying specifically to Afro Guyanese from the rest of the cabinet, there's not being racist. Are you by a we can move on the position? The country is the same. All know the poor people want money. Y'all in office form the cabinet, pass the blasted budget, and get people money. People need money. The pandemic was long gone. Money. Y'all got the 50 something billion dollar lock off and go to parliament, organize the state, a government for so long. No party. Forget very quick. How long was the country without a government? The country was never out of a government. Granger Ani, who a cabal, was illegally in government since December 21st, 2018. The cabinet was to resign. Only Granger was to be the acting president. Did that happen? No. Everybody was still there working how they usually work. Collecting the big money. Thiefing out the money. Scaling out all the land. Selling all kind of messed up contract and deals. Right, so don't come and tell people what the country was out of a government for so long. I can tell you this, the com country was out of a competent government for a very long time. For five years. Now, Granger was in the early time. Early time, 2020. Did you call for Granger get anybody any money? Yeah? The PPP today make 19 days for the PPP in office. And you want to go and share money already? And Granger them was in there for five years. Since, I think it's since January or February. We got the first COVID-19 case. From February to August. The second. Did any one of y'all come out and ask Granger to distribute any money to anybody? Only now you know people hungry and people want money. Only now. Only under the PPP. By fuck you, you m The people want money and the PPP. None of y'all come out of the stink mouth and the green job and say give nobody no money. Y'all want no money then. Eh? Y'all want no money then. Aye. I hear some real ridiculous people. Shameful people I am. I can't, I can't find a, a more nasty word for, to explain I am. I. Granger in there for five years. Well, we're talking about the COVID-19 situation. We had February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months. Six months and not one of y'all come out there and tell Granger to give nobody no money because people starving and people ain't working and they want money. Not one. All y'all come out with fraud is fraud. Well, fraud is still fraud now. Fraud is still fraud until this day. Y'all take fucking fraud and eat it. Y'all take the fraud and eat the fraud. Y'all asking for money. Where do people get money from? I ask Harmon and Granger them. What if you all the money and, and send me on the brooms? What take the 20 million dollars for you to them? Ask them for money. Ask them for money. The people don't have no money. They man left no money there for nobody. Talking about 50, where did I get 50 billion dollars from? Where did I get 50 billion dollars from? Granger them was thief in the nobody know nothing about that. Nobody said nothing about that. But soon as they collect the little oil money, just, just go and get your blow blow and blow, you hear? Go and get your blow blow and continue blowing your blow blow and fraud is fraud. I eat fraud now. To bring Guyana to stability. And I personally do not have the confidence in the PPP to bring Guyana to a place of stability. Have no confidence in them. That government, the Ranger administration, and they're going to try to do things, but not and serve the people and continue the good life. The decade, the decade. From Granger administration. <laughs> 
Hey, I tell you, Adam is a comedian. <laughs> if the PPP tech pattern after the Granger administration, God help Guyanese. Because all the Granger administration was doing was freaking thiefing. Thiefing, thiefing, thiefing. All it was doing is thiefing. And now you're trying to come and say that PPP gonna take pattern off a Granger. I mean, what do you call what do you call Fingo? What gonna happen to the people of the country if PPP do the same thing with Granger them was doing? Thiefing out the money. That's all they was doing. Thiefing the money. Now you come and say PPP gonna take pattern off a Granger. <laughs> like you funny, you funny. You funny. <laughs> Good life. Yes. Yes, I agree with you. But the good life was a Granger and he ministers them. Those is the only set of people who had good life in Guyana. Who was stealing billions upon billions. You hear? Only them had good life. So when you're talking about we can get back the good life and you're going to regain power. Regain power when? You're best go by GPL and sit down. And hold on on a light bulb. That's the only power you're going to regain. Y'all would never ever win an election again maybe for the next 150 years. Y'all could never win a next election. Y'all would never get back in power. And again, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Y'all would never ever 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 get back in power. Never. And you can take my word for it. Good life. <laughs> It's only Granger and the administration and all those government appointees was getting a good life. Not the common people of the country. Not the ordinary citizens who are working hard. When they're closing the sugar estate, them, them people was getting a good life. Eh? They was getting a good life. Why are you calling good life, boy? Why are you calling good life? You living in Canada. You having a good life in Canada because you have a president. A competent president in Canada, a prime minister to be exact. Guyana they had one, there was no good life in Guyana. A good life is to come now under the PPP. Y'all can never ever win an next election. The decade of development will come to the Guyanese people, not under the PPP though. Their self opinionated party. <laughs> I know it's, take, it's been a long time since I make a video but very 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 busy 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 I finish working like six every day so the time to make a video is very very short in this video I want to know how many of y'all observed that I wear four different color shirt and at four different times one time was a night then I think the rest was day but with four different color shirt it's because I do a piece and then a next piece and then a next piece until I get it finished okay so yeah please bear up right so please stay safe stay away from Rona God bless Guyana